What's poppin' everybody? Sound check, sound check. Make sure my sound is right. Baby is asleep and it's too cold in the studio, the other one. So I'm gonna get it rocking in here. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe button, help out the YouTube algorithm and all that good stuff. So tonight, in my opinion, we have two bums fighting over a dollar. It's gonna be an absolutely abysmal game. It's not gonna be fun to watch. I have 0% faith in this game. We'll see if I'm wrong. But you have... You have Pittsburgh Steelers, who's 8-2, and 4-1 and one away. So it's like, okay, the Steelers are a good team, right? Then you got the Cleveland Browns, 2-8, and 1-4 at home. A terrible team. And you see they've been scoring. Number one... Um, what you call it? Um, Russ Wilson haven't been a quarterback this whole season. So they started off four and two, I believe, before he came over. So last like four games, I believe he's been a quarterback. Over here on the Browns, Jameis Winston haven't been a quarterback the whole time. So you have two quarterbacks who haven't started the season. And if you look at Winston last game, the thing is. He throws, we know he's gone, throw the ball like crazy, get a bunch of yards, or get a bunch of picks. Close to 400 yards, two touchdowns, still got completely whooped on. Like, how does that happen? With that, the first game he played, let's look at Winston right here, 235, three interceptions. So it's really nothing in between of what's going to happen and see if he's going to throw a lot of the yards, a lot of touchdowns, and a lot of picks. 334, three touchdowns. So he's going to have a great game or going to have a bad game, but he usually going to throw it for a lot of for a lot of yards. Now, the problem is is the weather. Cleveland weather. They have an outdoor um field so they're going to be playing outside people and we look at let's see if we can get something closer uh well they have it where i don't know i'm so used to doing it on my phone where i can slide it or something but as of right now it's going to be it's snowing right now they were close to it by Jesus, why can't I get? So I'm used to doing this on my phone, so you can like move things and stuff. But you got high winds, gusts, and long story short, it's supposed to be raining and possibly snowing. With that being said, that means it's going to be a sloppy game, a running game. And not a lot of passing yards. So that's why the books have it where you have the Steelers to win by three and a half. That makes absolutely no sense outside of that because the Steelers are a better team times 100. So it should be a 13 and a half spread. If you ask me, it should be a 13 and a half spread. The Browns have showed absolutely 0% any reasons why is this spread. I don't care who's injured. I don't care who's hurt. This technically doesn't make sense outside of the weather and outside of the Steelers just don't know how to win by a lot. Sometimes like last time, like they just beat the Ravens. They beat them by two. They had to play the commanders. They beat them by one. They played the bum giants only beat them by eight blew out the bum jets and stuff. So it's a little weird. You look at, Brown just played the, what you call it, the Saints, and got completely destroyed. They played the Chargers and got destroyed. They beat the Brown. I mean, they beat the Ravens randomly. So it doesn't make any sense. So my genuine, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. So the way I'm playing this game is I'm not doing any official unit plays. So not one unit play. I'm not about to waste my money. I wouldn't advise y'all to waste your money. 
just too much janky stuff to go on. So really, most of my bets are $5 bets. We got a bunch of bets, $5 bets. I broke everything down so I can spend right about three units even. So basically, I'm spending $300 on this game. I'm willing to lose three units if absolutely every bet don't hit. I'm okay with that. So my advice is pick an amount that you're okay with losing and throwing out the window and do your bets accordingly. Minus three units. I wanted it to be two, but you know, so that's how my bets reflect. But I would tell you guys bets I do like if I was doing full unit plays. First full unit play that I like is the Browns under on points. So let's go to FanDuel. So we can kick it. So since we got time, I'm doing a video a little bit earlier. FanDuel Sports. Look. I'm doing a little bit earlier than usual. I will take my time with this video. Actually, you know, got to pick up the kid in 25 minutes. And I got to do NBA videos. So I really need to hurry up. But let's see. Just bear with me if you guys haven't already hit that like button make sure you guys do it help out the youtube algorithm let me know first and last touchdown i believe whoever scored the first touchdown will score the last touchdown so one thing i'll probably do that i won't post or won't show anybody is grab everybody especially the crazy out odds ones first and last and figure it out and probably do those for like a dollar each or something okay so we're logged into my what you call it account so let's go to thursday night football game first play i like is the what you call it um the brown soda points under 16 and a half because they will have to score basically two touchdowns and you look at the last two games winston only got 14 winston got 10 and winston got 29 on that one that just shouldn't happen and it's they're playing the Steelers defense. Steelers defense don't give up no points like that. They it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough for them to be able to do anything. So I like their under. That would be one play that I would like. Steelers, I would just leave them alone. Let them do whatever the hell they want to do. Now then you can go over to kicker props. Kicker props, hell, which one is, I don't even know which kicker name is which. <laughs> but whatever one is the Steelers kicker, over. I'm assuming this could be the Steelers kicker. You take that, you basically need two field goals and an extra point. You can, they can get that done. So I will also like that play. And for an insurance play, I was going to do that I absolutely love is to do this play winston and wilson to each record 10 passing yards each quarter this is a play that i would be like okay if i have 300 dollars worth of plays this is what i was going to do is put 390 on this to break even on all my other plays if nothing else hit because i think this is a lock if you ever seen one I know with the weather, they're going to each throw for 10 yards each quarter. They're just going to do that. Now, if they don't, they don't. But I say this is an 84% chance is hit. I like my odds with that, but I didn't feel like putting that much money on there just in case. All hell break loose. So, this is how we broke it down. Plays I like, mainly with analytics. Um... Didn't really take too much research into this game. Just really analytics. $5 gets you $47 right here. Next, we have... What, what made me... Okay, yep, this was another one. $5 get us $30. 5 get us $484. Same game parlay of things players have been doing consistently. Then we go to the quarterback. 250, 275, 5 gets you 105. 300, 275, 5 gets you 290. Two touchdowns, three touchdowns. To be honest, I'm only doing this right here for $5. I 
I might go back and put a lot of money on this one and this one because first thing first, can Jameis Winston throw three touchdowns? Yes, he can. Can Russ throw three touchdowns? Yes, he can. With the weather, yes, it make it a lot harder or it could make it a lot easier because players are slipping and sliding and all that stuff can't tackle nobody. But for this to be five dollars to win five hundred, really should be a ten dollar bet, ten to win a thousand. So I'm gonna probably up it because just the risk versus the reward is. I say this a thirty percent chance of hitting. That's high for me. So like that play. Next, you know, since it probably be a nasty rainy game, we are doing under on receiving yards over on receptions. That mean they just ducking it. Just five yards here, two yards here, one yard here, negative yard. So catch the ball a lot. Don't get a lot of yards. $5 get us 310. It's all about pairing up the right combination. $5 get us 215. Five get us 523. Five get us 280. Five get us 421. Next, this is all rushing. Five get us 247. Five get us 186. Full, no, this ain't full of fade. Five get us 135. And full of fade. Five get us 451. They slipping and they can't run. Next with rushing, we got Najee. Receiving and rushing 150 plus two touchdowns. Five get us 111. I'm mad I didn't do this with Saquon the other day. And I just took the full rushing like this. Five get us 170. So we got it twice, but different. Jalen Warren, 100. Yards receiving, same thing right here, just a little bit less yards. Five get us 227. Nick Chubb, five get us 223. We got Warren and four, both to get 50 yards. Five get us 211. Both backups do your job. 100 each for the starters. Five get us 196. Receivers, Judy, 125 and a touchdown. I love to see that crazy stuff happen. 125 and two touchdowns with Pickens. Five for. 223, Tillman, and both both C's, um, Cedric and Calvin. Is it Cedric? Yeah, I believe it's Cedric, Cedric, Cedric probably. Five, get us 130. And right here, this is Pat. And why do I have that? I guess so I can see them both. But this is Pat and um, David Najuko. Uh, however you say brother name. Fat Alice, get us 240, both tight ends. So these plays, you see, I got it written right here. This is 1.3 worth of plays. So for me, this is $130 worth of plays just doing all of these. Next, we go to the first quarter plays. I'm like, I'm going to do $5, 10 of them, $50, half of a unit worth of plays, if that makes sense. Different variations, the way I did them all, $5 get you 71 5 get us 2800 <laughs> I got a zillion, like, I honestly believe we should really just do all first quarter or second quarter, whatever it is, plays, because I the game slowed down with, with it's like these two teams, you kind of can, like, judge it easier, if that makes sense. $5, get us three. Thou wow. That'd be great to start off the game. Five, get us 213. Got to have some fades in there. Five, get us 135. Five get us 133. Five get us 114. Five get us 326. Five get us 128 for fate. And the last one with the alts. Five get us 722. First quarter plays. I like those. If you're not a Hall of Famer, you want to probably be one because I'm going to definitely probably add some more. Random ones in there. Since we don't have a lot of basketball, we're not spending too much money today on bets. Thursday night football boosts and specials. They gave us a $50. What gave me a $50 no sweat on DraftKings. This is beautiful. So we're going to fade to total points. We're going to fade Judy. Fade Pickens. I usually do the quarterbacks, but their fades are under. None of them have thrown under what their over under is. And I just can't see myself putting real money on betting on an under, even if they haven't did it. I understand the weather, so that's why they have a lure. But I prefer to just fade their best receivers instead of the quarterbacks. 
and Steelers to win money line. $50 get us $450. We go green just off this play right here if it wins. James Winston, we know he's going to throw an interception possibly. It's either he going to throw three touchdowns or he's going to throw interceptions or three interceptions. Nothing in between. Chubb under, Harris under, Winston and Russ under on this one since we got boost five to get us 115 over on ESPN bet. This is a Steelers blowout. Steelers blow them out. This is how it will look. $5 to get us 96. And this is over on Caesars. This is the upset. If the Cleveland Browns upset, this is how it will look. $5 to get us 170. Over on Bet MGM gave us a $10 um, no sweat. Let's go for a crazy game. Russ to throw over, Winston to throw over, Russ still to throw for an interception. Um, Harris to get it over. I couldn't get um Chubb. They had it locked, so I couldn't do that one. And over on the points, 10 to get us 145. I like it. All of our specials are $2 each. It is a total of, I have it listed in here somewhere. But $2 each. No, actually, I did $1 each one. Since this, yeah, I don't trust this game. I did $1 each one. So you see which ones we have right here. This is a perfect game to focus on specials because weird stuff happened on Weird Thursday night game, so you really need to cover as many specials as you can. You have to go on FanDuel and put all of these in manually. Screenshot them, add the ones you like, take out the ones you completely don't like. So with this one, you see dollar per specials, $48 worth. So I have 48 different specials that I like. So that's going to take y'all some time to put those in. Well, really not. You just click them all and put in a dollar each one. And 0.5, um, 0.15 worth of boost. So we get basically about $65 worth of bets right here. And our, our last one is our, well, close to last, our touchdowns. $2 each worth. We have, what, mm, I did um, 18 of them. So that is basically $36. So remember, I'm, I do all of this math for a reason. So, you know, there's a chance that the uh, Browns might not even score a touchdown. So you really need a bunch of just stiller touchdown options. So here they go. Stiller touchdown options. Got to have Pittsburgh defense in there. Then you add two and one. That's how I did my two and one. And then you can finally give them some love on that side just in case all hell break loose and they get lucky and find a way to actually score a touchdown or somebody slip and slide and they just slide right into there then you gotta have the two touchdown options right there two touchdown options right there and alas we have Najee Harris for three touchdowns Najoku one touchdown Najoku two right here Pat right here I like that and the last one is a blowout ladder. So me doing the math, basically I had $19 to be under. I, I was at I was $19 away from spending basically $300 today on these bets. So I'm like, let me find something to spend $19 on. And uh, just this is just basic logic. The stiller should blow them out. The stiller should blow them out, basic logic. So if I'm just going off my basic logic, let's go for a full blowout. So what I did was took the last seven not including this one because you get you don't get extra value but the last seven we're taking those and what we're doing is three dollars three dollars three dollars three dollars three dollars three dollars and one dollar so what that does is three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen that give us the last nineteen dollars and we basically did a ladder and we get a Steelers blowout because we know it's a potential. Browns probably can't even score. And we have Russ. He, he's Super Bowl champion. He played in Seattle. He, he'd be okay. And that's kind of how it looks. So it's a, um, it's, it's a ladder. I like that. I'm only willing to lose three units this game. Hopefully all hell break loose. We got Russ jersey on live bets will probably be the move on here. So to get my live bets, you have to be a Hall of Famer. Come join the team. See y'all soon.